Yesterday we woke up and it was snowing pretty hard. We weren't really sure what we were going to do, but we knew we were going to come out here and at least ride some powder. It was dumping and storming uh, for and cloudy for the first four hours of the day. So no one was really under any pressure to get anything done, so we're out just free riding and having a good time. Black and walls and crooked doorways, muddied streets, ghosts of the old days. This was our lap these uh, north facing trees which hold snow and it was just below our powder all day. We went we went straight up cow runs for probably till 2.30. Seems like so many of the times it's like wait and wait and wait for the sun. You know, we were just kind of going with whatever, just having fun shooting cow and then the sun popped out and we decided to dust off one of the jumps and kind of we were like, yeah, let's kind of wandered over here and I was like, let's, let's get this jump going. Raked it out and got motivated. I think the in run needs a couple more passes yeah. through. Yeah. I think it's good to go. It kind of took a while to dial in speed. And then, uh, we started session in this place. And you know, it was just kind of like the normal type of session. And then Possil drops in. Front side, back side seven on that jump. He was sending it. Yeah, I got a few tricks, so I'll stuff. Then Shane was going for front and 80s. I don't landing blind, but. That doesn't make sense to me, like spinning that fast. <laughs> like a little bit off axis, super sick. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to get it. The jump itself was really good. Like everybody got, you know, uh, maybe a seven, like a back seven, front seven, stuff like that. Then Scotty Lego, I asked him what he was going to try before he went up. And he's like, well, I'm just going to try a new trick, something I've never tried ever in my life. And I was like, oh, what's that? And he's like, well, switch backside double rodeo 1080. Wow. After the first try I saw him do it, I saw that he had the rotation, so I knew the kid had it. So he drops in and tries it and gets it around perfect and just barely misses the landing. Like he landed it but then fell. 1080, 1260, some shit. Uh, Head was like right next to like the tin roof on that thing. Yeah, it was amazing. Stomped it right away. It actually looked like he knew what he was doing somehow. I don't think he did, but it looked like he knew what he was doing. It's nice. mind bottling when your mind's <laughs> trapped in a bottle. And I'm gonna be telling my kids about his switch double back rodeo. I saw. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying my first ever uh, double switch double backside rodeo. You thought he would pull it off second try? Pulled off third in the Olympics. I figured he could pull that off. But everybody, you know, is downplays the size of these jumps. They're pretty big for me. Like, yeah. I'm just like cruising in on a hill. I don't usually pick up that kind of speed. Um, I was up there with Scotty, and I was like, I should probably flip it twice because Scott Stevens dropped in and did a double backflip, and it was one of the first ones he's ever done too. So. So yeah, I went up again. And, Obviously, was like, I got this next try. Yeah. Didn't get it. Like, kind of over rotated, landed in a little hard spot. Knees a little tender right now. But, you know, definitely in the back of your head, you're like, if I don't get this, I'm going to be kind of pissed. And I have a six hour drive back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting it. And I doubled back up in it. I, was, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty common trick now, but for me, I'm stoked. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This guy just landed his double back with his second ever double back flip. History in the making. I shot it tight because it's just... I love it tight, it's tight. <laughs> it makes you realize what's possible on these uh, these jumps that we built and all the hard work Pete put into them. It's finally paying off. And I mean, you don't see too many days like that where you get to ride powder all to yourself, you and your buddies, your crew, and then hit these perfectly manicured jumps. So yesterday definitely ended on a high note, man. Those guys stomping those tricks, and then right after that we all just snowmobiled up about 100 yards, went right into the yurt, cooked some spaghetti dinner, started a fire. Now, yeah, we're staying up here. Corey and we got guns, beer, and food in a sleeping bag, so we're all good. Dangerous combination, actually. <laughs> that thing is tough. TMZ, TMZ footage. <laughs> Yo, it's fucking TMZ no! flashback, get away! <laughs> Bunny, money. Love it, that was fun. <laughs>